The cat is out of the bag, or sort of speak, the DJI Mavic Mini 2 unboxing. Before I start yelling at me in the comment section saying clickbait and da 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 da, I do want to point out it's not me that have unboxed the Mavic Mini 2. But because of a few of you guys that have written to me, I've come across a video that shows an actual unboxing of something that appears to be the Mavic Mini 2. In this video that seems pretty legit to me, a guy walks into Best Buy and spots a Mavic Mini 2 under the counter. He at least pretends that he does not know that there's a Mavic Mini 2 coming out, but decides to buy it. And you know what? The specs plus what's in the box that correlate pretty well with the video that I put out about nine things that you would get with the Mavic Mini. I did miss a few things uh, in that video. First of all, the launch date was not late November. It seems based on different sources that it is about to happen in the beginning of November around the 5th. I did claim that the Mavic Mini 2 would have rear and back sensors, but this was basically one of the things in that video I had a very hard time getting confirmed because I was getting different uh, input from different places. But from what I can see in this video, we will not have front and rear facing sensors. Let's take a sneak peek of his video and then correlate it with the stuff that I put out that you would get with the Mavic Mini 2. Of course, I don't want to steal the fame from this guy. That wouldn't be fair. So I would only be posting snippets from the video. And I would highly encourage you to go and visit this guy's channel and maybe leave a nice comment in the, the comment section below his video saying that you were sent from Tech Drone Media. The channel is called Our Betific World. The retail box that looked pretty much like expect. So it turned out he picked up the Flymore combo and uh, just from looking at the box you will be able to reveal some details that is uh, that I claimed during the last video. You will get the Mavic Air 2 remote as I claimed. You will get a redesigned battery pack. That's another thing that you will get. You will get, you will get a new completely redesigned charger and also a nice bag to carry everything in. This is our lucky guy that got this drone. He is so lucky that he gets his hands on this. Okay, so this is an interesting part. These are the specs. Below 249 gram, check mark, approximately around the same flight time. Now it claims to have 31 minutes of flight time instead of uh, 30 minutes of the original Mavic Mini. OcuSync 2.0. And all of you that they sort of beat me up in the comment of the last video, you are free to go down in the comment section and say, you were right, Mr. Olsen. <laughs> Take that, Ocusync 2.0. And that will give you 10 kilometers of range. And I will assume this is for the FCC model. So in Europe, this will be probably around half. It also says HD video transmission. That was something that I didn't mention in the previous video. But that will give you a clear video feed. And if it's HD, it gotta be 1080p. So that's pretty cool. The previous Mini was categorized level 4 in wind resistance. It seems uh, that the, the prediction about spinning up the motors, uh, adding some more power in there with the new battery packs has turned out to be true. At least they have upgraded the wind resistance to level 5. 3 axis uh, stabilized gimbal, that would be a big disappointment if they have taken that out. That would be a step in the opposite direction. But 4K, you will get the 4K video resolution. And then, of course, some software mumbo jumbo like Panorama, Quick Shots, and uh, one tap videos. Whatever that is. I thought Quick Shots was, was uh, one tap videos. <laughs> should, we see if, uh, should we just take a few more glimpses into this video so I can show you some of the nice stuff in real life? So, the Mavic Mini 2, it looks pretty uh, similar to uh, the Mavic Mini 1 that I hold here in my hand. If we look at it like this. It does come with a nice uh, attachment and uh, robberish uh, thing, like a holder that will uh, keep the props in place because right now these are flapping around all over the place <laughs> when you put it inside. The, so here's some interesting observation. It seems that they have uh, kept the screw solution for mounting the props. So no quick swap props uh, with the Mavic Mini 2. Also, they seem to have uh, introduced some orange tips on the end of the props. Probably that means uh, stiffer props that will uh, prevent it from hitting the case like we saw in some cases uh, with uh, the previous one. There it is, the Mavic Mini 2 remote. You are going to like that a lot when you're going to fly with that one. There's the new charging hub that's uh, completely redesigned to fit the new uh, sort of shape of the batteries. I do want to throw in a bonus info. I don't know if he's actually mentioning that in the video, but uh, it turns out you can use 
the old Mavic Mini 1 batteries in your new Mavic Mini 2. In case that you decide to do that, you unfortunately exceed the weight limit of 249 grams. And the camera! With the 4K as uh, we were expected and we could read outside the box, including a nice sticker in case that you forget that your camera is 4K, you can just pick up the drone, look in front of it and say, ooh, I got 4K. No. <laughs> Looking at this picture, that actually makes it a little bit difficult to judge if there are sensors or not on the drone. But uh, I don't think this small uh, gap here will uh, leave room for, for sensors. And also uh, there seems to be like a grill out here, like if there is on the original one. You can see here, it's exactly the same. So I don't think, at least the sensors will not be located inside uh, the holes here, like you would expect. And uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe there is some sort of a low level sensor uh, available uh, um, through this crack. That's definitely not, uh, I can't say that with certainty. Well, the focus is pretty poor when it shows the back side of the drone, but I can with almost certainty say there are no sensors in the back of the drone either. So I think we are there where there are no sensors in front and back of the drone. There will probably be more videos on his channel about this drone now he, he figures out that he actually <laughs> is the first in the world except GGI people that got his hands on a Mavic Mini 2. As I mentioned, uh, of course I don't want to steal the fame from this guy. So as mentioned, I highly encourage you to go to our Beatific world and support this guy, at least uh, throwing in some nice comments below and giving the video a like. You might even, if you don't like the video, press the dislike button twice. <laughs> So this was just a super fast video showing you uh, this uh, latest and greatest. And I really am so happy for the tech drone community that they sent me stuff like this that would allow me to make fast videos to uh, share this good information with all of you. What do you think about the upgrades that you have uh, seen and heard about here in this video for the Mavic Mini 2? I think it is absolutely fantastic. And I've asked my local dealer to reserve a sample for me, which I Unfortunately, I have to pay out of my own pocket. That's also good because then I can say exactly what I want about it. So, so um, I think it sounds interesting. I was saying, I think it sounds fantastic. It's a super upgrade of uh, the Mavic Mini 2. And especially if they make it a real C0 drone, so it will comply with the local regulations in Europe. So you can keep continue flying it under the 249 or 250 gram limit. That would be a really, really big deal for many Europeans. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.